Hi everyone, Sandra from Scraps of Beauty, and it is Wednesday night. And if you're watching over on YouTube, this is live stream, and I'm talking to live people. Um, and tonight I am going to um, go over some of the tips and tricks that Diane Reevely um, taught us in the new uh, her new Dilutions workshop that was at Ranger. Um, I have her permission. I went and asked her if it was all right if I shared what we did in class, and she said, yes, go right ahead. She says she feels like it's a trickle in a pond. She teaches someone, and then someone else teaches someone, and it keeps going and going. So she was very happy to, um, to let me share. So thank you, Diane, if you watch this. <laughs> I doubt it, but... <laughs> And then she, we were talking about the daubers because, you know, she uses her daubers for her paints. And she wants Ranger to come out with the pink daubers. So this is Tim's black one. <laughs> so, which I thought was, a, was a, a good idea because you could keep these for the Distress. And, you know, I have the little cork ones for my Distress Oxides. And then these pink ones I would keep for her, um, for her paints. So I went ahead and painted mine. <laughs> So uh, we'll see if Ranger is going to agree. Because everybody, uh, she made everybody say we wanted them in class. And, of course, everybody was like, I'll order 30, I'll order 20. So um, we'll, it'll be fun to see if they come out with uh, with pink daubers now for her. <laughs> they have the pink roller for her, the um, brayer. So maybe they'll come out with the pink daubers. So we're not going to use these tonight, probably next week. I'm just going to put those over there. It was easy to do. I just covered it with um, white gesso first. And then I did two coats of the um, bubblegum. Oh, what's it called? Bubblegum pink in the dilutions paint. And then I just put a little bit of matte medium over it. So they're cute, though. So I have hot pink in my, um, in my room, so it looks good in there. But if you didn't like pink, you wanted to paint it green or blue, you know, paint it whatever you want. <laughs> So, so we're going to work with the new dilution sprays as well as the other. So the new one is vanilla custard. Um, let's see, rose quartz. Oops. Uh, peony blush. Uh, always red. Red. No. Raid back. Raid back. Lay back. <laughs> Lay back lilac. <laughs> uh, let's see. Periwinkle Blue, and Mushy Peas. So we'll be working with the new ones as well as I'll get out the other ones. As well. Is anybody working along with me tonight? Hi, Kathy. <laughs> um, so I'm going to show you exactly what we did in class. First, I want to get out my stencils. So fast forward if you don't want to see me name the stencils, but once I take them out of the package, I'm not going to remember what their name is, so that's the reason I'm doing now. So if you're watching over on YouTube, just fast forward for five or ten minutes. So, of course, I already did, I did this one. I'm assuming this is Birds, and I think this is Dina Wakeley's. Um, and then there's this one that's got the different shapes, which I have no idea because I took the package out. And then this way I could refer to this video if somebody wants to know if I ever use a stencil, what it is. So this one is called Squiggle Small. You need tin scissors with scissors. There's new black ones. <laughs> so that's a squiggle one. This one is called Diamond in the Rough. That's that one. Oh, you're at work. So we were talking before chat about Diane, um, not Diane, Jane Davenport's new products coming out from Spellbinders. This one is called It's Raining Cats. Um, if you go over to A Cherry on Top, and you put in the promo code pre-order. I think if you order over $50, you can get 20% off your um, order. So I know um, she has her new machine coming out, dyes, um, stamps, stencils, alcohol markers. I'm trying to think what else. Mm, hybrid inks. Uh, couple other things but you can go over on cherry on top and check that out also if you want to order any of Prima's watercolors you know you can use the Prima the promo code pre-order and you can you get the 20% off of that anything that's pre-ordered on cherry on top you can use that code I know today the stencils I think if you order one stencil and $25 it's free shipping they always have a nice promo code for you to use so 
If you guys don't take a look over there. Oh, you don't have a, you don't have a pair of Timmy scissors. So this one is called Sugar Lumps. This is her in one of her new ones, Sugar Lumps. This one is an old one, Heartbroke Border. It's got different borders. <laughs> Yep, you have to start using, yeah, I don't blame you, you could use what you got. Yep, this one is called Old School Number. Old School Number. You, girls, you guys know I'm a Jane Stabbing Peep, so of course I have to have everything Jane. <laughs> this one is called Spring Balloon. What's that one? So these are all the small. They also come in the bigger size, but we're just going to work with the small tonight. These two I happened to get at Tuesday mornings a while back. This one is Keyhole Small. <laughs> you don't have Timmy scissors, scissors either, Debbie? It's the Keyhole. This one is called Nature. So it's got the leaves on this one. And so this one's nice because you can pull this out and it's got the stencil and the, the, the mask. This one is called Shapes. It's got the little key hold. You have lots of scissors, but oh, they're just worn out. Yeah. So it's got the little window and a little flower and that. And this one is called Suits because it's got the cards, you know, the um, spade, clover, diamond, hearts. So we got all our stencils out, ready to go. You have your, you'll have your Fiskars. Oh, that's good. And it has a spring handle. All right. So now we're ready with our stencils. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is um, the separation, how she separates her inks, which I have to get mine out. And I'm going to put mine on autofocus just so in case you want to take a screenshot. Ranger's supposed to have this on their um, website, but they don't, the last I checked. So who knows if they're, they'll put it up or they won't put it up. Um, but she did make these color charts for us. So let me put it on autofocus so you could see that first. So hold on. All right, so she separates her um, spray, her sprays and her paints. She separates in both uh, cool and warm colors. So, hi, Allie. <laughs> so the first one is the cool colors. So let me see if you could see that. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Come on. There we go. So that's the cool colors. So all the cool colors are the greens. I'll try to hold it. I really need to hold it like steady, steady. So if you want to take a screenshot, you can. No. Oh, come on. This might not work. Come on. It's like two inches from there. All right. So there's the green and the blue. So that's how she separates the green and the blue. That's the um, cool colors. Then the warm colors are the reds. Come on, there we go. That's the red family. So the red family consists of the red and the oranges. Then she calls the this group um, the neutrals. So you can see the neutrals, and she calls the purple the sin bin. <laughs> well, there we go. And then she has one more that's called, uh, what is this called? Crush grape. Isn't this the same as that? Laid back lilac. Oh. These are like the purples. I think these are the purples. No, laid back. Crushed grape, 
I guess maybe these are the new colors. Mm, not really sure. I'm trying to read it myself, but I'll let you see it here. Come on. There we go. Oh, matchables, that's what she calls them. Laid back lilac. So these are all the ones she would match with the blues, and then these are all the ones she would match with the reds. The crushed grape would match with all of these, and the laid back lilac would match that. So that's the two new colors, the purple. All right. So we are going to... <clears throat> my dilutions book and so the first thing we did and let's see I have a couple of pages this is my dilutions book that I started oh, way back <laughs> oh first thing I'm gonna do is put my gloves on since we're working with the inks um, these this is the gloves in the bottle I want to make sure I cover my hands really well because that does stain <laughs> and I do have my little sleeves on from Finnabar tonight just so if we're going to get inky and messy, <laughs> I'm make sure I'm covered. All right. So the first thing, so I'll show you what, I think I've only done two pages in this book. <laughs> so this is the first one that I've done. That was a little bird. We did this on stream one time. I think we did both of these on stream. And then this one was a little owl. He's kind of cockeyed his little eye there. There we go. So we had done that. Oh, and then I started this one, and then I never finished it. Up oh, and another one, and I think that's it. All right. Oh, let me take the autofocus off. Hold on. All right. So if you're following along with me, the first thing that she had us do was remove pages, and that's what we're going to do. So what you need to do is... You need to find a spot. Let me see where I can show you. Now you can see here where the stitch is. So you need to turn to a page. Okay, Diane, feel better. Um, so you need to turn to a page where the stitch is. And so the first thing we're going to do is you're going to put your thumb right here. And then you're just going to start tearing these pages out. Now she made us tear out, I think, 12 pages. So we're going to do that first. So if you're following along with me, this is what we'll be doing first. Once you pull this side out, the other side comes out pretty easy. So there you go. So you have two separate pieces. So we're going to put that to the back. And then you don't want to go to the next one right next to it. You want to pick another area that has another spot with the stitching. So here's another. And we're going to do this again. So we're going to do it like 10 times. <laughs> so just fast forward if you're watching on uh, YouTube. one comes out and just be gentle with it because you know it is stitching I like this one there we go. you don't want to rip the um, stitching all the way out so there's two if people leave them in their page they can no problem it was looking It's good to take it out because you do add um, texture paste and stuff like that. So um, I don't mind taking it out. If you leave it in, though, your book is going to be way too heavy. And this is an old Dilutions book. So I don't know if you can tell. I have white and I have the white and the um, beige pages in here. This is like one of the very first Dilutions books that came out. So you can see here, if you can see the difference. Can you see? This one's got the beige, and this one's kind of got the white pages. So it'll be interesting to see how this one um, works. All right, so I pulled something from there. I'm going to pull something. And you can look 
Oh, well, I'll show you after a minute. Let me pull another one out. Pull this one out right here. Probably should pull more of the white ones out. Get the stitching all the way out. You just slowly do it. Just take your time when you're doing it. Right there. And I do have to pull out this little paper in the middle here. All right, so that's three. Hi, Sarah. Where was the purple masking tape? <laughs> I was asking her where she got her purple masking tape. All right, so I'm going to pull out a, a white one. And the white one's a lot easier. You have this old, a lot easier to tear out than the, um, the manila one. All right, so we have one. Two, three, four, four. So let's do a couple more. I'm going to try to tear most of the white ones out. Here's another one. Oh, you didn't? You know why? I asked because of creativation. That was like the big thing. All the new, the purple, everybody was using the purple tape for, um, they kept saying purple was the new blue masking tape. <laughs> so I just didn't know if you had gotten it, you know, from creativation. Duct tape metallic? No, I didn't see that. Washi? No. All right, so you can see here now. You can see in the different um, signatures here where you've taken out. So you can see that's close. So you can see I need to take one out like right here, this one, and then one right here. So let's see. Let me take one out here out of this one. I really don't want to take that vanilla one out. I think it's one signature of vanilla and one signature of um, the white. You didn't have idea. Yeah. Creativation, everybody was like loving the purple tape, the purple masking tape. <laughs> All right, so let's see. I'll take one out of this one here. Oh, different color painters tape have the different levels of tack. Well, they were all using the purple in uh, Creativation this year, so they were loving the purple tape. All right. So and then, of course, um, we're going to spray these, too, but you can make this and make a nice book on its own, too. As um, So let's see how many we've got. One, two, three, four. Eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, so we have enough out now. All right, so now the next thing we're going to do is separate our inks. <clears throat> so I have my inks here. And we're going to put them in the category like she has. Her. So we'll have all the warm colors in one and then all the cool colors in another. So let's see. This is green, blue, pink, blue, yellow, red. We're not going to use the brown. So we're not going to use the brown. We're not going to use the purples. The sin bin, as she calls them. <laughs> Black. She does use black. She calls that a neutral. Uh, let's see if I make sure I have enough. This one is lemon zest, pure sunshine. 
and I'm not sure I have all the colors, so we'll see. Peony red, cherry pie. This one is cut grass. I got one of those. This one is uh, calypso teal. Squeezed orange. Squeezed orange, got that. And you'll be so shocked about how much ink she uses. I was like shocked when I saw it. All right, so I think that's the only colors I have. So we'll have to just work with what we got. So we're going to keep all the pinks together, pinks and red. So this is Postbox red, cherry pie, and the oranges. Um, squeezed orange. Pure sunshine, lemon zest. Uh, funky fuchsia, and bubblegum pink. We have those seven. And to that I'm going to add the rose quartz on that pile. And I'm going to add the peony blush. So, for, for the greens and blues, we have the cut grass, we have the fresh lime, vibrant turquoise, London blue, the calypso teal, um, and to that I'm going to add the periwin periwinkle blue. We're not going to use the purples, we'll keep the purples away. Oh, what's this peony box red? Did I say I had that one already? Peony box red. No. All right, so we got that. Seems to me I have a lot more reds than I should have. We'll have to check the sheet afterwards. All right, so this one here, the vanilla um, custard, could go in either group, but we're not going to use it right this second. And then this one is the mushy peas, which I'm going to add to that. Seems like I have too much red going on. So let me see. And our cool family, which one does she have? Of course I can't read it because <laughs> it's like so small. So we have, oh, the one I don't have is the new one, the pomegranate. Huh, they didn't give me the new pomegranate one. Oh, they gave me two of the post box one and not the pomegranate one. Darn. Okay. So in the red, we need peony blush, bubblegum pink, and fancy fuchsia. Bubblegum pink, fuchsia. She doesn't have the cherry pie in there. Post box red. And in the orange family, we have the sunshine, uh, tangerine, which I don't have. So we'll just have to work with what I have. Pure sunshine, lemon zest, and squeezed orange. So the cherry pie and the peony blush. I'm going to put the peony blush. I'm going to keep the red, the real red, out. Did you have that one in there? Because I think that goes with this one here. Cherry pie, peony blush, bubblegum pink. Oh, I'm so disappointed. They, they didn't give me the pomegranate. They were supposed to give me one of each, and they didn't. All right. All right. So we're going to go with that. So let's do with the um, warm colors and then the cold colors. <laughs> no, I don't have them all. <laughs> Linda. So now the other thing I want to explain to you is about the white. Where did I put the white now? I have my desk light covered because I don't want to uh, spray anything. Hopefully we won't. Now, when Diane was talking about this one, the white one, so this is white linen. So I don't know if you can see, usually the mica is all here at the bottom. Because you stand this, um, this bottle straight up, usually all the mica stays right to the bottom, and then you have to mix it up. Well, now I keep mine laying horizontal, laying down like this. And the reason is, if you could see, I don't know if you could see, See in this bottle, you see how the straw doesn't go all the way to the bottom? 
it goes right to where this black line is. Do you see that? Do you see that? It does not. It's about a, a little less than a quarter of an inch, eighth of an inch from the bottom. So when you have all your mica here, she says, that what happens if you forget to mix it and you just go ahead and spray, you suck in the mica right away. And so that's how you get these clogged up right away. So she suggests that you keep this white linen and any of the micas, the new shimmering mica sprays, horizontal, laying down. She keeps them in a nice bowl like that. So, and the reason being, it's you have to think of it like a snow globe. You know, a snow globe's got all the snow at the bottom, and then when you shake it, it goes to the top, but the particles are so heavy that it, it comes down. So when you're using the white, um, spray or any of the micas you want to spray part of the way then swish it around and then spray again because all the whole time that you have it straight up the mica is falling or the white is falling the powder so you actually want to keep swishing it in between before you spray it so we're definitely going to use the white as well and keep that down well she doesn't really use any water except for in the beginning so we have our little sections here so we're not using the brown or the purples right now. We'll add the purples in. Yeah, right? It's a good tip because I never even thought that. And she said not only her sprays, but any spray that's got any kind of powder, mica powder or any of that. So like your Lindy's, um, Heidi Swap's ones really should be kept horizontal. Um, what else did she say? Lindy's, Tattered Angels. Tattered Angels is another one. But she said even if you kept Tattered Angels on its um, horizontal, that the bottles still are not that good. And I think that's because that straw goes, I want to say that straw goes all the way to the bottom, but I'm not sure. But she did say that um, just not only her sprays, any spray that has a mica powder to keep it up horizontal. All right, so we are going to just turn to a page. So let's see, I'm going to start at this page here. So let me get my notes here. Let me get, I didn't take many notes, but I took a few. <laughs> All right, so we do need our water bottle here. So now usually when you take your water, right, you usually just go like this, right? And so now you've got big puddles of water. You, you, the whole page is not like water, you know, it's not smooth, it's not runny. You've got just blotches of water. So she suggests you don't do that. What you want to do is you want to spray across and let it fall down onto your page. So like it's raining, so you just spritz it across and let the water fall down. So actually, what you wanna do is spritz it straight across and let the water go down. So we're gonna do that. So you can't see, but I'm spraying from, I'm spraying from back here about four inches and just letting the water hit the page. And then what she suggests is let me just show you here. We're going to divide our paper into six different six different um, sections. Can you see that? And then, so what she does is, let me see, one, one, two, two, three, three. So we're going to take three colors. Can you see this? So we're going to spray in two sections, then take your second spray in two sections, and then take your third one in two sections. Yes, the micas does have a ball in there. But what happens is she says, like, you know, sometimes you forget and all of a sudden you just pick it up and just start spraying without remembering to mix the, um, the balls. So it's just a way of keeping the sprayer clean um, for them. But, yeah, if you can remember that, you know, that you mix it all the time, then I get you keep your bottle straight up. But I will, um, the white does have a little ball, I believe. Yeah, it has a ball in there but what's nice is because then all the mica has all of this to lay it lays all of here instead of just gathering all up in here so you might have you know an eighth of an inch or quarter of an inch of all the mica powder here we're here it's spread out throughout the whole thing and it's so super thin so all right i gotta spray this again because it's already wet well, let's pick our colors first so i think i'm gonna we'll start with the blues so I'll go with, um, let's see, let's go with um, Calypso Teal. The other color I don't have is a dark blue. She had a dark blue under what it was. Here's a Periwinkle Blue, and we'll go with a green. 
Let's go with that. So I'm going to go with the Fresh Lime, the Calypso Teal. Do I want to go with the Periwinkle Blue? The Periwinkle Blue is really dark. Uh, I'm going to go with these three. The Vibrant Turquoise, the Calypso Teal, and the Fresh Lime. So we'll go with those three. And what she says is what people, the biggest mistake that everyone makes is you don't use enough ink, which is true. You don't use enough ink. When you see the difference between using all her inks and not using the inks, it's big. All right. And the thing is, we don't want to spray. We don't want to spray it from up here because then it goes all over, right? So what you want to do is get close, you know, three or four inches. So let me show you. So you want to get, you know, relatively close. So like this, like your arm is almost touching the book, but it's not. Bye, Debbie. You don't want to spray it way up here because then you're spraying the whole page. The whole idea is just to do the one little corner like that. All right, so I'm going to spritz my page again. Let me take my lids off so we're ready. And don't be shocked about how much to use. It's true, you do need to use like, oh, I need my paper towels. Hold on. Because what she's, or she, as she says, her kitchen roll. Because <laughs> what happens is when you um, spray it and you have all this ink on there, and then you put this page over like this, and you're rubbing it like that, so you're actually putting fingerprints, you know, you're rubbing it like this, instead of just taking the kitchen towel, the paper towel, and, um, and rolling it like that. I'm going to have a hard time doing that because now she has me brainwashed into saying kitchen towel, kitchen roll. <laughs> All right, so let me move my other little book here. All right. I'm going to move these purple a little out of the way. Okay, Galena. <laughs> All right, so here again. So I'm going to just spritz across so that the water just falls. So just falls on top of there. Then I'm going to take my vibrant turquoise and so I'm going there. I should move those extra papers and I'm going there. Do you see how much I'm spraying? You've got to spray that much. Then I'm taking the green. Let me move it. Oh, just leave it there. And you want to overlap. Do you see how I'm overlapping? Oh, I should have put that on the other side. That's what we did. Well, whatever. And then I'm taking the teal. I'm closing this. And I'm taking the paper towel roll. And then just rolling it on here. And then what you want to do is you want to go right to the spine in the middle so that your book does not fall apart. See all that that you have in there? And then there is your background. I just make sure we get the middle. So isn't that a cool background? It's like, wow, I get it now. <laughs> so it looks like a lot of ink, but, um, and you can save the paper towels if you're like, oh, that's so much ink, but um, I did save it. So yeah, but that's how um, we did that one. So let's do another one. And by the time you touch it, really, it's pretty much dry. <clears throat> and the whole thing with her, um, her way of doing things is that you have um, to do more or less an assembly line. Let me get some tags here. So I'm going to mop up um, some of the spray. So you can mop up your, your sprays with the different, you know, so, that, so now you've only got two pages, but you also send the paper towel to Joyce. <laughs> um, you also have a start of a tag now. 
And the thing is, she does, so she does all this. She does the whole book, and that's what we did. We did the whole book just decorating the backgrounds. You can't really um, use paint when it comes to ink. You can't use the paint pens, especially her white and black dilutions pens, uh, for 24 hours. 24 hours before you can actually start doodling on this page. You make trees, yeah, right, yeah, with the rolls, yep. Yep, I've done the, the paper towels. Yep, that's how I did when I roll up my paper towels. I create the trees. So you can do all kinds of things with it. So let's do another one. We'll pick a different color now. So I'm going to see what this white paper does. It'll be interesting to see what this does. I like to keep one that has stitching. All right, so let's see how the white paper works. You don't have patience to wait 24 hours, but that the whole thing is you're doing the whole book. So maybe it's taking you two hours to decorate all the backgrounds and then you move on to something else. And then the next day you can come in and do all your inking, painting, whatever it is that you want. But that's how to do her. That's how she works with that. All right. So let's pick a different color now. So we'll go with uh, mushy peas. Um... I am going to try this one too, the vanilla custard. That's our two new ones. And then let's go with um, cut grass. All right, so again, we need our spray. So remember, you're just going to spray across because that's what helps it all blend together. And I'm actually going to take this one here and cover this side. So I'm only, she does mostly just one-sided spreads. So let's do this. So we get the mushy peas. This is the vanilla custard. And remember, you want to overlap into the other section. And then we've got the cut grass. Oh, I always have a hard time with the sprayers. And then you just take this piece, put it over on this side, take the kitchen roll. Oh, I'm going to keep saying that, <laughs> the paper towel. <laughs> And then you want to lift this up quickly, pick up the center. I want to get some of that. And then you can see there you've got a pretty background. <clears throat> yeah, her paint pens, in order to use her paint pens, it's like I said, you can't use it on ink for 24 hours. So um, and if you want to use it on acrylic paint, she said, you can do it um, like four, three to four hours. So I'm just taking that. I really like this um, vanilla custard color. So I just added some more there. And then what I'm going to do is take her my paper. Take my white bee. What was what? <laughs> what you have to do is prime them right. She shows you on YouTube how to prime those pens. It does take uh, three or four times. Not three or four times. Some of them take a, a two or three minutes to prime. But you can't, with the paint pens, let's see if I have my paint pen around here. I might have packed it up when I went. Probably in my other bag. The paint pens, think of it as... Let me show you. Hi, Nisha. So the paint pens are like this. So we can see. I only need something darker so you can see. So 
So there's a paint pen. What happens is when you're starting, it has this little flap. So it goes, it's like this. The flap is up and down, up and down. Hi, Ella. Um, so what happens is when people are priming it, you have to just go down once and hold it like that. If you keep going like this, up and down, up and down, you're making that flap go like this. And so what happens is you just wind up flooding the pen. And then it doesn't come out of just the barrel. It comes out of everywhere. So you ruin the pen. So you can't go, you can't keep going up and down, up and down. You've got to just go down once and let the thing flood. It takes a while for it to, you know, that's a little tiny nib. And so it takes a while for it to go. And you can wait a minute and then like hold it up and then see if it's, hold it up and then see if the ink has run down. And then if it doesn't, then go back down and press it and hold it. And eventually it'll come out. But if you keep going up and down, up and down, you're going to kill the pen. And that's what she says. So just remember, it's got that little flap that lets the ink go in and out. So you want to make sure that you hold it down like that. So this way the ink is flowing through and then let it up. So, but she shows you a YouTube on there. No, I didn't, Sarah, did you? I have his first book and I didn't really do anything with his first book. So I didn't order a second one. But you see how pretty that background is? And then just think about when we put stencils and stuff on here. So, so I really like that. All right, so that's one page. All right, so let's do one more and then we'll go to the uh, warm colors. So let's do the Periwinkle Blue. Let's do the London Blue. And the Calypso, should we do the Calypso Teal? Let's do the... Vibrant turquoise. We'll do those. Let's see. This will probably be pretty dark. This will probably be good for a mermaid page. You did? Uh -huh, that, you have to let me know how it is. All right. So it's the same thing now. We've got to spray the water across. So remember, you don't want to do this because you're just going to make puddles. It's got to be across. The water has got to go across the page and then fall down like rain. So I'm spray that. So I'm just spraying, I'm spraying across and letting the water fall so it's not creating um, puddles. All right. And then uh, I'm going to go, let's go with the London blue first. Oh, I need a piece of paper here. I've got that in there. So remember, you've got to spray a lot. I mean, it looks like a lot, and it is a lot. <laughs> but that's how she does her spread. So this one is the Vibrant Turquoise. Is that the one we're going to use? This one is the new one. Periwinkle Blue. Remember, you have to go into the next color. Don't forget. And then this one is, we did the London Blue. What was the other color he's using? Vibrant Turquoise. Oh, I must have missed a color somewhere. Where did I do? Oh, the Vibrant Blue, I forgot. <laughs> Down here. All right. And then close this. Use a paper towel roll because you don't want to use your fingers, remember. And then lift this up. And then you want to grab this right in the center right away so it doesn't get all through the spine. Don't have enough room on my desk really to be doing this but there you go so there you go. so look how pretty that background is so it looked really nice and dark but it turns out to be you know not so dark like this is going to be a great mermaid page so and like i said you know by the time you do that it's well my hands are like ill now <laughs> ill um you just want to make sure 
that you do sweep up in here because you know the stitching that's where the hole and all the ink is going to go right through the stitching all right so i'm going to take another card and pick up all this ink i've got oh, swooping around here that I've got ink in here so you're making pages and tags at the same time yeah this one's a pretty color isn't it see how pretty that is that's really pretty all right so let's do the cools and then we'll do what she calls ghosting so let me find another spot here. Go up here in the beginning. All right, so I'm gonna put the blues away for now. Oh, thanks, Ella. So let's see. We'll start off with um, we'll start off with the new color, the rose quartz, um, bubblegum pink. And the funky fuchsia. Let's do those three. Oh, this one I didn't open. Oh, my scissors. So, um, I that for her inks, I think the background doing it that way is really pretty. And then you're going to come back. Yes, I put my gloves on. L, I did. <laughs> yeah, this is too inky for me not to put those on. <laughs> Two or three minutes makes more sense. I think it was two or three minutes to prime the marker pens. Yeah, it's about two or three minutes, yeah. Mostly the white. The white is the one that takes the longest because you can't see the white paint coming down um, through the paint. But the other colors, you can slowly see the ink come through. So it's a lot easier with the other uh, paint pens. All right, so we're going to do the same thing. Let's grab another, another paper here. So I'm going to actually put this one on here like this. So again, we're going to spray the water so it goes across the page. So that's why I'm tilting my book up. All right, and then we're going to spray again. Ah, I put the green on there because I'm going to have to wipe my hands. So this is the rose quartz. Isn't that pretty? That's the rose quartz. This one is the bubblegum pink. And remember, you've got to... You've got to spray into the other one. And then this one is the funky fuchsia. Again, you're going to just roll this page over. Take the kitchen towel. I'm going to take the green off of here. And just go on here like this. Take this other green off. And then you lift this up. Remember to get the spine, you want to grab that ink off the spine. There we go. You like her colors, but like the spray bottles, they are not easy. Well, don't forget my hands, it's harder for me too because I have arthritis in my hands, so it is harder for me to pump. Um, but not too many people had problems. But see, that's a pretty page. So here's the light. I could have gone a little bit lighter in this to give it more definition, but. Yeah, they're pretty similar. They look pretty similar. All right, so that is the pink. So let me wash my hands now that we're working on. Ugh, look at that. <laughs> I hope I can get this off tomorrow. 
even though I have the bottles. I don't know. It's going to be skeptical. <laughs> Ugh. Ew. Now, I, when class, one of the ladies had let me some um, art guard. I think it was called art guard. It was more like a barrier. So it'll be interesting, and that came off right away. So it'll be interesting to see if the bottles and the gloves in a bottle will work just as well. All right, so we have that. So I'm going to grab another tag and then grab some of this ink. Got a little pink on there. So we got that. All right, so let's do another page of the pinks. I'll do one back in here. One. Looking for one that's got, there we go, the stitching, there we go. All right, so let's try a different one. Let's try one with the oranges. So this one is squeezed orange. This one is pure sunshine, and we'll go with the lemon zest. I gotta open this one. I didn't open. The ranger scrubby should take it off. <laughs> we'll see. So the reason why you don't see the ranger scrubby in the stores is the manufacturer that ranger had. Um, manufacturing the scrubbies um there was either a problem or they stopped making it so any of you guys who are like oh i wish i could get the scrubbies they did find another manufacturer to do the scrubbies so they will be coming out with the scrubbies again so in case you're looking for your scrubbies it'll it'll be out <laughs> all right so what did i say we have the pure sunshine lemon zest and squeezed orange all right so i'm going to do a double page with this one i think so let's do the water again and i'm going to rip off a couple more paper towels just because it's got the pink on it she doesn't do it she keeps going back and forth no matter what the paper towel has on there but <laughs> i don't want to mix up the colors that much all right so let me move these colors down here stick them in there for now So we need clear water again, just shooting across the space there. All right, and then, um, so remember, you want to be close to the um, page. There's the yellow. Go with the orange. This one is the pure sunshine. Ugh. Remembering always to touch the other colors. All right, and then we're going to close this. Rub that on there. Yeah, it's one of their best products. Yep. Then we're going to lift this up. And then make sure you get in that spine right there. Grab all that other ink. And get in there. It's still not quite in that, that little groove there. To just get in here so I'm not really in that there let's see how pretty that looks so I do love the way she does the backgrounds with the sprays make sure I just get that in there but see now you can see my fingerprints so now I don't know if I touched the page before you can see that fingerprints there before or after <coughs> but see how pretty that is I like that one all right. Should have pulled all these other pages out because now all these pages are going to have 
ink all over them. Let me pull these other ones out. I'll keep that one in there. All right, so let's do one more, and then we'll do some of the ghosting. So here's another one. So let's do something with the reds. This one's cherry pie, fuchsia pink, and we'll do with the new one, the rose quartz. Let's see how that works. So I'm going to sprinkle again, spray it across. So I know it's hard to see, but I'm actually just spraying way across and letting it fall down. So I'm going to go with the light. That's the rose quartz. Then we'll go with the cherry pie. Oh. <laughs> Gosh. Cherry pie, and what was the other one? Fuchsia pink. I should have went separated it, but oh well. I'm just gonna go in the middle. <laughs> All right, close this one. I didn't put enough ink on the sides there so I didn't get quite I just want to get this middle part here then so I didn't get enough ink so as much ink as you saw me spray still was not enough ink because I missed spot here and here okay so let's grab another tag Grab the same tag here. So I've got some pink and purple going on. All right, so the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to add some of the white. Now that got my bottle won't spray. <laughs> Um, let me just get another wipe. You like the last one? Sprayed in the middle, yeah. Oh, sprayed in the middle. You like that, so it's more of a, um, like, tri-colored. I don't think this is going to come off. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right, so let's sweep some of this up. All right. The paper towels are nice and bright. Look how bright those paper towels are. Here's one. See how pretty that is? Look. <laughs> All right. Let's wipe this one up. All right, so let me get my, my little notes out here. Right, so now we're going to add the white, but with the white, we're not putting any white. We're not spraying any white on the pages at all. So let's go back to, let's go back to this one right here. This one. And I like this, I like using the white because it's like pastel-y kind of. Um, so let's see, we'll stick with the reds. For, so let's do um, the fuchsia. Um the rose and we'll do the vanilla so the rose quartz that's the new one we'll do the vanilla custard and the um, let's do it let's do the bubblegum pink bubblegum pink so what we're going to do now is we are only going to spritz very little because you want it to make it look like a um, a water more like a watercolor yeah it does dry that fast mm -hmm. yep so here look pick the other page here it doesn't stick or anything. See, this is the one I just did. It dries that fast. 
but it doesn't cure for 24 hours. So I couldn't go right over here with a white pen. I would just ruin my white pen. So, yeah, it's that fast. It dries that fast. But like I said, it doesn't cure for 24 hours. So you can't go over this with a white pen. So that's why she inks all her pages, um, whatever she wants to do, say, for the next day, 10, 15 pages and that she's going to work on. And then she lets it sit overnight, and then she goes back and decorates, um, decorates it. All right, so um, where are we going? All right, so we're going to do this one. So no water on the page, and we're going to go with the white. So remember, we have to swish the white because all the mic is at the bottom. And what were the three colors? The bubblegum pink and the vanilla custard. So I'm only going to um, just spritz just like that. Not that much. Three spots, two sprays. But now the white is like your water. So you need to put a lot of the white. And remember, you have to swish it. Oh, my white doesn't work. Ah, let me see if my other white one works. Of course, I don't have this one mixed. And what's happened is gonna, it's going to dry now. So there we go. Got to swish it, remember. And then you're going to close the page. I didn't have enough on there, but that was because I was afraid it's going to dry out. So we'll see how it comes out. up yeah I didn't have enough ink on there and when I was supposed to let it mix together I forgot to do that so we got to do that again <laughs> but see how pretty that looks make sure you get the inside all right so let's do that one again so can you see how pretty that looks there so it's more like a, a watercolor, pastel color like. I forgot we had to let it mix. So let me just make sure I wipe that off enough. Yeah, pretty much one. Ah, I forgot I got blue on my hand, so I can't really touch the pages. Um, so let's do that one again. yellow and orange there we go this one all right so let's do uh, the bubblegum pink is pretty similar so we're gonna do the same thing the vanilla I'm gonna go with the orange lemon squeeze but let's go with let's go with the pure sunshine see what happens all right so remember no water on the page hi Orla no water on the page so so I'm going to mix my white again up. Keep that horizontal. That. Then this. Oh, I picked two of the same colors again. Darn it. All right. Then we have the white. Mix it up again. And we're going to let this roll, roll around. I'm trying to pick my book up here. And still, I don't have enough. I really don't have enough white on there. All right. So I have that. And then I'm going to put that down. Marianne, you like that one? I do too. I like the one when you add the white on there. I like the pastel, the soft pastel color. So, see how pretty that looks? All right, so let's get mop that up. i make sure you get in there.
system. Well, I want to do this in the blue and green because it looks so good in the blue and green. So can you see that? It's so soft looking. It's really pretty. Let's make sure I got the I got enough out of the spine there. Yeah, and I don't want to touch this because I got the blue and green on there, but pretty much it's dry. Once you see that, see there's a little shiny there. You can see that that's That's why I can just close the page right away and it doesn't um, work. All right, so let's do this one. Let's go with the blues. So we'll do the, um, what is this? Uh, vibrant Turquoise. We'll go with the Mushy Pea and the Fresh Lime. All right, so we'll do that next. So again, remember, we've got to shake the white because the white we're using like water. No water on the page. My poor fuse ball is like pitch black. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go with um, the fresh lime. So two squirts. Go with the turquoise. And then the mushy peas. Then we're going to take the white, swish it around. Swish it around, make sure you swish it around. And then you're going to mix this up. You can use a little bit more white in there. We have that. That looks pretty. I like it just like that, really. <laughs> that. Make sure we roll it out. My poor sprays are getting like sprayed all over. <laughs> and we're going to lift this up. I could have used a little bit more of the white in there. Can you see that? like using the white in there. So there you can see this color here, this page. You can see that one's pretty. And I can still pick up some more of this. You can see it's still shiny, so it's still wet in there. Isn't that pretty? That background? I like that. That's pretty. All right, so let's go back now to one of the pages, and we're going to do what she calls her ghosting effect. So let's do this one because it probably look really good on this one. So we need a stencil. Actually, I need a big stencil. Um, let's do her. Um, let's do the bubble one. So we'll do this one. This one is called uh, Fresh Dots. Get that going. And then I'm just going to take some clean paper towel. And so this is where she uses just plain water. So we're just going to get our water, which is here. So now I'm just going to put some water through the stencil here. 
Uh oh, need more water. And then I'm going to take the, let it sit there for a second. Lift this up, put this on. Maybe I'll put that there. Press this one down. And then lift this up. So there you can see that's uh, lifting the paint back up. And then this one. And then there's lifting that. So like that. And then I can take this and put this on this side. So she's creating pages all the time when she's doing her spraying. So basically that's what you're you're first doing. Oh, what happened to my chat there? There we go. Um, and then pretty much it's clean. You can see that. Let's take a baby wipe here. And her favorite baby wipes are Huggies, she says one that she likes so I could even clean this off on here and she cleans as she goes so there it is it's all nice and clean you don't have to worry about about it let's see how nice look at that I like that so you can see that there so so that's ghosting let's do one on the purple pink page kind of We'll do it on this one. So on this one, let's do, oh, let's see, what do I have? Let's do this one, the alphabet one. This one is um, old school. And this is how she creates her background. So it's just like I said, she always refers it to like a um, turkey club sandwich. So you have the bread. Then you've got lettuce, a piece of tomato, then a slice of turkey, then a slice of bacon, then another piece of bread, and so forth. So you're building 20, you know, 20 layers or whatever. So like she says, you don't want to put your piece of bread and then add four pieces of lettuce, two pieces of tomato, and then all of a sudden you don't have room to put the turkey, the bacon, and the other good stuff. <laughs> okay, Ella. Um... So, yeah, you definitely want, you just want it in the very light stages. All right, so we're going to do this one again with the spritzing. So, again, I'm just going to hold this one down because this page is. So, I'm actually going there, and I will go there. So, you want to let that sit for a few minutes. Not a few minutes, but, you know, a little bit. Then I'm going to take this and put it on this side. Press that down, and you can see it ghosting already. And then you go ahead and lift this up. Pick this one up, and you're always good with an alphabet. It's always going to be backwards. <laughs> so, so there you can see. See how that is? So that's a start of a nice little nice little background. All right, and so then here I'm going to add this. Here. Here. And then I'm just going to take it on this side. I could go on to another page, but I'm just going to do it here. Voila, clean. All right. So I really like that. That looks really good. And when you put some pop of black on here, that would be really good. All right. So let's see what else should we have to do here. We actually could take some um, sprays now and then. It's like she says, let me show you, um, here, we'll do it on this one here. Um, so let me take some of the little stencils. 
want to do with those. And she always does everything in threes. So just remember, everything always looks better in threes. So let's do this. We'll take the flower one. We'll take the kitty cat one. I like the old kitty cats. And maybe the sugar lumps. We'll do those three. Hi, Joy. <laughs> Right, so now the whole purpose of this is you want to go light, light to dark. So let's see, what should we do first? Um, I'm going to take this little, we'll take the tea. I don't really have a light, light blue. This one, maybe the London blue. So I'm going to spray this blue, and then I'm also going to come across on top with the white. Oh, that one's not going to work. Just to lighten it up there. And then flip this one over. So I have got part of the design down here. And then part of the design here. And then where's my kitchen roll? Three paper towels. <laughs> You've got that like that. So she always does it in three sections. So let me see. I can use this on here. One, two, three. And then you can actually spritz this with water a little bit and reactivate that. I'm going to take this page, I'll put it on the back of this, and clean this off. So I'm going to clean it off in three spots. So we have that going. So do you have any questions about the background so far? So this is just what she does with the sprays. And then on Sunday we'll go over what she does with the paints. And then we'll be able to work on some of these pages because it'll be 20, more than 24 hours that the ink has dried. So, but that's already is, you know, pretty good background. I think I really like that. Maybe we'll put a mermaid or something. We'll work on this page and put some fishies or something on here. Um, let me just get my little notes to see what else we did that first day. Spritz of water. We did that one. No water. We did the swishing red pink nothing no questions oh now this one did stick a little ah, I didn't let that white dry enough so but you can see so there was the one page we did we'll go over and see we did this one let's see that her mica sprays yeah we could spray some of the mica sprays on here I really like this page a lot. I should have gone a little bit lighter, so it would have been lighter in here. I'll have to go get the mica sprays. That's the one we added with the white, and I didn't add enough white in there. There's the start of a blue page. Um, that's that one. We did this was the first one we did. This is the green page, and that goes with but this one. That's a pretty page. I really like that technique, and you do need to use a lot of spray, which I never realized. And I never realized that you really need to spray it with the water. Then we did this one. And we can always tip these in, you know. And then I think we did one more. Oh, I didn't let that white. You've got to let that white dry a little bit more. There it goes. So that's the white <clears throat> before you close it down all the way. <coughs> Is that all the ones we did? Oh, we did this page. 
I like that one too, sunshine. All right, so let me get some of the micas, and then we'll spray some of that, because the micas are really pretty. So just chit-chat amongst yourselves. I didn't plan on using the micas, but I'll get them. because I've been storing them on their side, horizontally. So if you didn't see the stream on Sunday night, I did um, show the mic is here. But we'll... Uh... Yes, there's 12 new mica sprays. Yeah, so here is the... I'll show you, but we did like a whole page in class just because she wanted us to see what it was like. So there you can see there's the gold, the tangerine, and then there's the pink. You can see the, the pink a little bit there. <laughs> Carrie Ann, oh no. There you can see that gold. I think that's the prettiest one, that tangerine with the gold. And then you can see there there's the red and the pink. And then this one is the blues. Of course, I love that. The teal blue right there. Right there is a teal. This one is... I can get the blue to show. Let me on this side. There you go. That's the blue. <coughs> you can see it here. They really are shiny. That's the green. That blue is really pretty. And you know, it's the same thing. Just the red. You can just see that gold. That gold really shows up. And then that's like a, I, forget, I think that might be the pomegranate one, this dark purplish color. You can see it right, right there. <coughs> And again, the blues and the greens. So, all right, so we'll put some on here, see what that looks like. So let me pick a, a stencil here. We'll go with the sugar lumps, how's that? So we'll put the gold on this one. So you can see how much mica there is, how much gold there is in that one. And this one is, oh, this one's a pure sunshine. So we'll do the pure sunshine and we'll do the tangerine dream on the hair. So let me open these. I didn't plan on doing these, so I didn't open these all the way up yet. Yeah, these are the sprays, the mica sprays. Oh, you're working on a rhinoceros, okay. Hey, Sarah. All right, so you really just want little spritz of this. And so you can see now where the mica is just all along here instead of settling at the bottom. It's got the little balls in there. <coughs> so I am just going to spritz a little here. And then I'm just going to pick this up, move this over here, and then move it up here. And then I'm going to clean this one off. Um, let's see if I'm going to clean this. So I'll just clean it on here. I 
There's my little tag. Let's clean this off on here. So I don't know if you could see. It's very light, but you could, you could still see it there. <laughs> don't worry. No worries, I mean. So there you can see. You can see the gold right there. Right there. I'm going to get my heat gun out so I can dry that. So you can see it there. Right there. So let me get my heat gun. How pretty that, that gold is. You can really see that gold on there. So that was the pure sunshine. And we'll put the orange on this page as well. What did I do with that one? This one. So it's got a dark orange mica. So let's go with um let's go with the alphabets. Maybe the alphabets. I'm looking for my little stencils. Oh we'll do the hearts. Do the heart little heart border. So I want to actually cut this. I want to put this with a tag over it, just so I can cover cover that up. Yeah, it's really pretty. The gold. That one is really. I think that's like my favorite out of the whole bunch. All right. So I want to cover up this page. So I'm going to just, I could just put a paper towel over here. <clears throat> I just want to get the hearts on there. Did you order yours, Eileen? Too much so I'm going to just put this on this tag We'll dry it and then you can see the mica on that. So let's see. <laughs> you have too many. So you can see, you can see the, right there, you can see the, 
the shine right right there. Let me try this. Hey, done. It's got a real reddish um, kind of mica on this one. And with the mic is you have to let it sit before you actually dab it like I did. Otherwise, you'll just take all the mica away. So there you can. There you go. There you can see the. Oh, hold on. <laughs> There you can see the mica right there. It's kind of a reddish, reddish color mica. You can see the hearts there, right in there. Nobody's enough gold spray. That's pretty gold. You don't like? You don't think that's enough gold right there? Look at that. Right there. Look at all that gold. All right, so let's spray on some of the blue and green, and then I think we're going to call it a night. So I like that. All right, so for the blues, let's see. Shimmer. I've got, um, this one's really pretty. We can use that one, and let's go with the, the dark green on this page. I want to pick something that... Um, We'll go with the mermaid-ish. Maybe we'll do the squiggle one. All right, where is my... You love the Heidi Swap gold? Yeah, I have that one. So then on Sunday, we will decorate one of these pages. Um, we'll doodle and stuff on there because the ink will be dry. And then we'll go with her paints. I'll show you what we did with her paints. So this one is the Calypso Teal. I wish they would have those lines that open this up. I like the heart stencil. I have the heart one. I gotta look for it. I have the little hearts we could probably put on here. That probably would be better than the big squiggle one. And this one is the cut grass. Right, so let me look for a different stencil. I want to see if I can find that little heart one of mine. Which you don't see. But we're going to just use the, we'll use the alphabets. Instead of a squiggle. We use the alphabets. All right, so, uh, alphabets are the numbers. So this one is the Calypso Teal. You can see all that shimmer in there. And then this one is the cut grass. Can you see the green in there? So remember, we want to put it in three places. All right, so I'm just going to spray a little here. That's the blue. Oh, too much through there. 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 And then I'm going to spritz this with water and actually put it on this page. here. 
And then I think I'll even add, no, I'm not going to add on that page. <laughs> Add it on. I need another page. Oh, I don't have enough hands. <laughs> All right, so wipe this off there. Wipe it off of there. Wipe it off of there. And I'll put it on the back of here. That one's really pretty. Can you see the teal right away on that one? When you wipe it with the baby wipe, you don't see as much as the mica. You can see it on this page. You can see it right there. You see it there? <laughs> Three racks with uh, sprays? That's a lot. Of, I have a lot of sprays, too, though. You can see that. Isn't that pretty, the Calypso? And then here you can see it on this page here. Right there with the numbers. All right, and then we'll put some cut grass on here, see what that looks like. I do like the mica sprays. This will be a pretty C page. Um, let's go with something little. Let's do the diamonds. We'll do these. So this one is the cut grass. Thanks, Eileen. <laughs> going to spray just a tad. Right there. I'm actually going to spray it again. There. And then we can add a little piece here. So remember, you do have to let it sit before you wipe it with the... Um, with the paper towel so that the mica gets in there. And I'm just going to spritz it with a little water to get one more out of here. See how pretty that looks, the green. Thanks, Dar. <laughs> That'll be almost like seaweed, kind of like. Okay, let's lift this up. And then to clean this, we can just spritz this. And then just wrap it right around. She just wraps it right around the um, paper towel. And it's all nice and clean. There you can see how pretty that is. So there's the mica sprays right there. Isn't that pretty? And that's the teal. That one, that and the gold I think are my favorite. Alright, so we'll show you the picture pages again. And then like I said, um, on Sunday, what we'll do is we will um, decorate one of these pages. We'll doodle and stuff like that using her pen. Oh, hold on. And then we will, uh, I'll show you what we did with her paints. So you guys have any questions? I really like that. I'll have to sprinkle some uh, mica on here. Let's do a little, uh, what do we have left? Fuchsia. Well, let's do the pomegranate. I haven't tried that one in the mica. Oh, no. this Yeah, this is the mica. It's kind of got like a dark red. Let's try that before we go. Yeah, so 
So Sunday we'll decorate that and then we'll um, go through her paints. So let's see. I'm going to use just these little keys. Because this is pretty dark, so I don't know how dark it is. So we'll try it. Just want a little spritz. Red too much of the mic a little bit, you could see it. Let's see what it looks like up here. It's dark red. It's hard. I don't know if you could see it. A little bit, you could see. It doesn't show up as much, the pomegranate. It's got a little gold, maybe a tad bit of gold in there. So, thanks, Linda. All right, so no questions. So I will see you on Wish Me Luck. I can get this off. Ew. Um, yep, yeah, so um, yeah, I like the sprays. I definitely love just uh, the first two that we use. There's the one we use with the white spray. There's that one. We could have ghost that, which we didn't. I like this page as well. Uh, this one, oh, I have to tip that one in. This is a page we'll work on Sunday. And we have this with the gold. You can see the gold right there. All that pretty gold. <laughs> and we did that one. I thought we did one more. Didn't we do a white pastel page? Like... See, and that's a, when you go ahead and spray this whole book, it just comes, you know, it goes all over. So it's like the start of another another page, which is great. We didn't use the black tonight, so. There's a little page that we use with the pastel green and white. And this is what happened during the whole class, too. We were like, where is that page? And she'd be like, turn to the page that we use the white spray on. And I'd be like, where? Where is it? Here it is. Ah! See, I didn't like the white turquoise. So, and there's that. So. <laughs> All right. So, um, have a good weekend. Um, and I will see you back here on Sunday. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Orla. <laughs> yeah, and if you have any questions, um, yep, just ask me on Sunday. And I'll try to answer them. But, um, yeah, I really like doing um, using her sprays now that I know how to use them. So, And the same with her paints now. But I really love this light. This and the gold are my favorite. Look at that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What is that, Dorothy? <laughs> All right. Good night, everyone. Thanks for joining me. <laughs> Bye. Oh my gosh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs>